Hi guys, we are going to be talking about tarot today. <laughs> I know it's been a while since I've talked about tarot and I apologize because I know a lot of you guys are more of my tarot um, followers and subscribers. So this is going to be all about tarot. I want to show you guys a deck that I um, bought for myself for my birthday. So this was an actual, this was actually a birthday gift. Oh my goodness. I shouldn't have touched my tripod. I always say this, but I need to fix it because it's just driving me crazy. Okay. I think we're good like this. <laughs> um, so hubby went off to go get the tires rotated on his car. I, something tells me he's going to try calling me. And so if this gets filmed in like multiple parts, that's why. Okay. <laughs> so let's see how far we can go. So my birthday was on the 20th of February. Um, but I purchased this deck probably about two weeks in advance. Um, it arrived the week prior to my birthday, maybe even earlier than that. I'm probably getting the whole timeline wrong, but this was a much, much, much desired purchase. Like it's been a deck I have wanted in my collection for a while since I've seen some other readers put it up on their channels and it's just one of those Rider weight clones that I've wanted. So without further ado, and I'm <laughs> you're probably going to see cat hair. You're probably going to see orbs. I have lots of orbs that come up on my, on my videos now. Like I know some of it is just cat hair and dust, but some of them that are flying around are orbs. Like I do have orbs in this room. Um, <laughs> it comes up a lot more now because I'm doing more mediumship. So I feel like being more connected to spirit, it just, they pop up a lot more. So I can see them on my own camera. Sometimes I don't see my own orbs that pop up in videos later on when I'm watching. Cause yes, I'm one of those people. I watch my own videos. <laughs> I'll catch the orbs then, but I can actually physically see them right now. So that's kind of cool. Anyways, this is not mediumship. So let's talk about tarot. So the deck that I have purchased um, is, I, I I call it the JK Weight. Um, that's usually how I see this deck advertised on eBay. So um, the JK Weight, that's what I'm going to call it. Um, it is Japanese. It is beautiful. It is a Rider Waite clone. And it is one of those decks that I thought I would never own. <laughs> to be quite honest. I thought I would never own this deck because it is usually, you usually see it popping up on eBay for lots of money, um, at least well over $300. Some people have been very fortunate to purchase it for like half the price. Um, but yes, usually this one pops up for like five, six, seven hundred dollars. Um, the, the less, the, the least, the least, the cheapest I've seen it, um, was like 300 bucks. So, um, I did pay 300 bucks. I did pay a pretty penny for this. Um, that's including the taxes. Um, that's including the shipping, which we'll get into that. So technically the deck itself wasn't super as expenses as I, I la, 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 la. oh my goodness, why can't I talk? <laughs> It wasn't as expensive of, as I have seen other decks being advertised, but um, when you add up like everything else, it, you know, it was a, just, just over the 300 mark. So <laughs> I'm okay with that. It was a birthday gift for myself, from myself. So there you go. <laughs> so I thought I would mention the price because I know some people are curious. Um, so anyways, I used uh, um, one of those... Um, third party purchase things. I purchased it from a Japanese site. Um, didn't never done anything like that before. This was like my first experience and it was actually pleasantly simple. <laughs> it was very easy. It was, um, it was just easy and I, and I'm very fortunate for that. And the shipping amount, like the time that it shipped from Japan, to the time that it landed on my front doorstep was only like less than a week. I mean, I have ordered stuff from within the States <laughs> and it's arrived like a lot slower than this did. So I was very pleased. Now, 
mind you, when I do that, when I did the purchase thing, I did pay, um, there was, I think there was like a cheaper option, but I did pay a little bit more for shipping. I think I paid like $30 to $36. I can't remember the, the details. Um, <laughs> I probably don't want to remember it because I want to be like, Ooh, <laughs> cause you know, shipping that wasn't cheap, but at the same time, this is something I really wanted and I wanted it to have it in my hands as soon as possible. So, um, I would just, the thought of it, like, oh my gosh, I have a deck flying from Japan off to over here. And then it's in my front doorstep was just magical. So, <laughs> so that is it. So it comes with a sleeve and you have like this, I don't know, little tag thing that's on it. It's kind of fun and funky. So I'm not taking it off. I just think it's kind of cool. Um, but this is pretty much the sleeve, the front, you know, the box itself. It's one of those pull out sleeves. Um, the deck itself does come in a light blue cardboard fold out thingy majigger. <laughs> um, so really cool. And I don't know. I'm just so, I love it. It's so funky and different. So it does come with a book, um, full blown Japanese, um, and it's just really cool. So I don't know. It's just kind of funky, like to have something like this, even though I don't know what it says, <laughs> but it's just kind of cool. So beautiful little book and the deck itself comes in a little tan tuck box. And I am going to put the camera forward so you guys can see this pretty baby. So that's that about the box. I don't want to put too much focus on it. But let's go down to the table. So let me flip this okay, over. So I am going to have the, the, it's kind of a weird angle, but it's easier for me to do it like this because the tripod won't fall off my table. <laughs> and then also, um, I don't know, it's just easier for me to maneuver with my hands. So I will have it like this because I know a lot of you guys would say before, um, sometimes the, oh, my hair, sorry, my hair just gets everywhere. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys would say sometimes it's hard to see the cards when I'm holding them up. So I am doing this for those of you guys who, um, you know, you could appreciate this. <laughs> so this is the tuck box it comes in. Really simple. Um, okay, oh my goodness. So... The cards themselves, these are the title cards. So again, I'm pretty sure that's like a spread or whatever you could do. The backs of the cards are like this dizzying, like literally this makes me dizzy when I look at it. <laughs> but it's this um, maroon-ish, to me it looks maroon. Not quite red, not quite pink color but it is dizzy like it just makes me dizzy when I look at it <laughs> but here we go so we have gorgeous colors this is the one thing that I love about this deck are the colors absolutely gorgeous the other thing I love everything is in English surprisingly it's not in Japanese so that was a plus too because I mean obviously I, you can't read the book unless you know Japanese pretty cool but those of us who can't the booklet all that stuff is just really it's just to have it's not necessarily something we can use um I am one of those tarot collectors I call myself a collector because I do have quite a collection um but I <laughs> I use my stuff. So <laughs> I'm not one of those tarot collectors where this will stay on a shelf and never be touched. I will be using this deck. So um, the cardstock of the deck, pretty, pretty nice. Actually, I like the way it feels. Um, not too thin, not too thick. It's perfectly bendable to shuffle. But oh my God, just the main thing is the color. So you see the full, um, not in Pixie's font, just a regular type but so gorgeous so 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 gorgeous the magician so let me get all of the majors so pretty <laughs> so if you love red or weight and you love clones um i know it's it sucks because this deck you know like i said it's 
it's hard to come by. Um, I have been looking on eBay every once in a while just to see what pops up. And I do see this deck pop up. So it is, as far as I know, I don't know if they've been purchased yet. There were two of these decks on eBay as of the day before yesterday. Um, so today is Thursday, the 20, 26th, 25th. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> um, but as of, you know, this week, there was two on eBay. So check it out you know or you know you can do one of those like third party entities if you want to purchase from um, a different country on a website um you can try that too but i always say if it's meant to be it will be <laughs> put the intention out there and then do your hunting and you'll be surprised what you will come across i love the way the lion has um roses all around his mane that is just so precious to me <laughs> um but yeah you would be surprised what you guys can find like I feel like I've manifested a lot of my decks yes I prayed a, a paid a pretty a oh my god I cannot talk today sorry guys um yes I paid quite a bit for this deck and I'm sure there's a lot of you guys out there who wouldn't want to spend that much money and I totally get it um but <laughs> For me, it was like, I don't know if I'll ever find a deck, this deck, for cheaper than that. Um, and it was one of those things where it was like, I had the money in my account, my little cackling moon reading account. And I'm like, it's my fucking birthday. I'm just going to do it. So <laughs> so I treated myself. Um, but, you know, I understand that that's not always the case for everybody. So um, there are, you know, people who have the most amazing luck when it comes to finding out of print decks for super cheap. You might be one of those people. If you, if you frequent the thrift shops and stuff, you might be one of those people. So you never know, but look at this gorgeous death card. I love the sky, how it has the, the horizontal lines and it's just so pretty. Oh. God, so gorgeous. The colors are just out of this world. So vibrant. So yeah, this has been, um, <laughs> this is one of those decks that I just, every time I look at it, like when I see it on my shelf, I'm like, I can't believe I have it. It's one of those, those decks. Cause I literally didn't think I would have one <laughs> and I do. And it's so exciting. So yeah. <laughs> I love the tower card. I just like how clean the pictures are. I love the moon. I love the female face in the moon because the moon is the divine feminine or the, you know, the feminine essence. Um, so I love that. I love the how the little crayfish, lobster, whatever this guy is. I think it's a lobster. Um, how he's large. I just, oh, so gorgeous. I like how the sun card has um, two people in it instead of just the baby. <laughs> Judgment. The green sky and judgment. I wish I could read the book because I would love to know, you know, why the why the colors for the skies. Like some of them are orange, some of them are green, purple. I wonder if there's a reason for that, you know. So that's one that's one thing that kind of sucks of not having, you know, the ability to <laughs> read the booklet. But yeah, so there's the major arcana. Let's quickly go through the minors so colorful just by like going through the cards like this you guys could just see how colorful this deck is and there's details like i didn't notice there's pomegranates in the tree so gorgeous I don't know I just there's just something about Rider Waite 
I think it's just because this is the deck I studied with and this is the deck that, you know, changed my life and I just have such an appreciation for it. I don't know. And I, I guess I like it too because if the imagery really matches the original Rider weight, it's like you can pick up any deck of card like that, any clone and read with it. You don't have to restudy the book, you know, all of that stuff. You could just read it and it's perfect. So, absolutely gorgeous. I love the Ace of Swords in this deck. I love the red. I love the Egyptian, the pyramids, the little sphinx. I don't know. It's so random. It's so random. Like, I'm sure that there's a reason for all this. Again, I wish I had the book. Love the Two of Swords with the giant moon. Like, you, this, the moon is usually really small in the Rider weight, but it's it's just gorgeous. I like the rainbow clouds. I just feel like you get some more details in this one that you normally don't see. I just noticed that the pumpkins are in there. <laughs> um, you don't normally see some of the details, so. Ugh. And I know, like, I've stepped, I haven't stepped away entirely from tarot, but I just haven't been immersed in it as much as I used to be. Um, but I will never walk away from the tarot. I just, it's just a part of me. So much healing, so much self-discovery has happened with these cards. Not this deck specifically, but <laughs> with the tarot. I love how they kept the birds too. Like in the Rider Waite, the birds are still in there. I love, I don't know, there's something about the red skies that just has this huge impact. So I don't know, just very vivid. And I love the clouds are black in the king. Like that would definitely get your intuition going for specific readings. Oh, so gorgeous. But yeah, um, I know I've stepped away quite a bit. I love that. <laughs> I love that the the wands it just they make it look like like a gentle subtlety like a you know like a penis pretty much cuz I do read the the wand suits especially the ace of wands very sexually um depending on the client <laughs> the question you know um but I, I I like that I always could dig that so I just had to point that out um but yeah I I will never step away from tarot you guys you may see more mediumship topics or spiritual topics in my videos, but um, I will. The decks are with me always and forever. <laughs> um, if I'm ever blessed with a baby, you know, a baby girl, I hope it's a baby girl because I just feel so called to having a baby girl. But if I were ever blessed with a child, whether it's, you know, my own or if, if my husband and I go through adoption, um, my collection would be passed down, you know, so <laughs> I just think about all that, but I don't know. I can't say no to my tarot. I may not need the cards as much when I do my readings, but man, oh man, something about tarot. See, here's the pyramids again. I wish I could understand the significance to that. A little black cat. I love how she has this giant sunflower in her hand. <laughs> so gorgeous. And the cups. So let me know in the comments below, you guys. I love the pink sky for the Two of Cups. Very Valentine's Day. <laughs> Um, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about this deck? Isn't it? It's different, right? It's like one of a kind. It's colorful. It's beautiful. The card stock feels very like it's, it's, it feels like your typical deck of cards, you know, like you're playing cards. It's like that kind of a card stock. The, it's not, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not linen finish, but it feels, it just, it definitely has a, a nice smooth texture to it. 
Well, what do you guys think about this deck? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at how just all the details. Oh my God, I never even noticed the two people in the background. I wonder if that's in the Rider Waite too. I'm sure it is. It's just so crazy how the details and it just depends on the artwork. Love that Eight of Cups. Oops. So yeah. Do you guys own this deck? Anyone have it? What is your favorite card? How did you find your deck? <laughs> Leave comments below. Let me know. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look, a little dolphin. So cute. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, you know, I just wanted to kind of share my little birthday gift with you all. Um, and, yeah, this is the JK Weight. Not sure how they came across that. I'm sure that's probably has to do with the art. The, uh creator I don't know um but that's just how it's always been advertised on eBay so I just call it that too <laughs> but yeah here it is I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video love you guys and I will talk to you soon bye